Hi, this is Steven from Just Got Played, and today I'm going to unbox Thunder Rolls by Richard Lanius. Um, so Richard Lanius is a uh, big stock car racing fan, so he's created this dice placement game. Uh, you can see it's for uh, one to eight players, 30 to 60 minutes, ages 10 and up. I think actually my eight-year-old kids could play this, but uh, anyway, it says... You know, 10 and up on the box. All right, so let's get this open and see what all is in here. There's got to be a lot of stuff because I know there's going to be a lot of dice <laughs> and uh, going to be a lot of stock cars in here. All right, so here's the rule book. All right, so we've got setup, sticker application, right? If you want to put stickers on your cars, I mean, you really have to because they're just going to be. They're all going to be identical if you don't. Um, how to play the game. You've got the rolling phase, which is talking about with dice placement, rewards and penalties, and the thunder phase where you program some cards. Uh, and then scoring and uh, talks about the action spaces. There's some clarification of the places where you place your dice. Um, the non-player drivers, NPDs, and their action cards. So you always play with eight uh, drivers, no matter how many people are actually playing, you just uh, replace, make sure to use these NPDs. All right, there's the game board in detail. There's more than one track. All right, looks like an oval and a road track there. Cards in detail. All right, advanced cards, weather based movement, pit stops. You can do a championship season, multiple races. Uh, here's some special rules for gameplay to one to three players. Uh, you can track a championship here. And um, those are the icons. <clears throat> icons used in the game. All right. And there's the moving guide for the NPDs. Sort of a reference there, I guess. All right. So, ooh, so these are the stickers. So a lot of stuff on here. Hey, look at that one. Um, anyway, uh, so... You know, you basically, you know, you can put the colors on your car and you can decorate the car however you want. Um, these stickers, I think there's transparency here, whereas these stickers, that's a white background uh, sort of. So it depends on, um, you know, how you painted your cars, how you want them to work. Uh, yeah. All right. So two different sticker sets there. Ooh, all right. These boards look like it's going to be pretty big. Let me set this aside here for a second. See if I can even get this in camera frame. That is quite a large board. All right, so this is your oval. <laughs> um, and down here are those uh, different places you can place dice and what they do. And then let me flip this over. All right, and here is the road course. All right. And uh, I think there are special rules and cards that come out for each course. Not entirely sure. All right, let's see what else was in here. All right, everybody needs one of these boards. Let's take a look at the blue one. You know, it's pretty nice. Thick cardboard. Um, so it starts on the fresh tires, uh, and you can flip this at any time uh, to re roll any of your dice. Um, and then this just stays like this until you do the pit action and flip it back over. All right, so that was four colors. Here's the other four colors. All right. A lot of, a lot more tokens. These are passing tokens, I think. Not sure. What that's for necessarily, um, but these are yeah nice thick pieces of cardboard. All right, there's the driver art again. All right, here we go with all the dice. So eight colors, eight dice each, sixty four dice, right? All right, let's take a look at some of these dice. 
They're not particularly big. They're not particularly heavy and they are square versus rounded. But, uh, you know, nothing special here, but they are dice, right? They're D6s and they're functional. All right, what else have we got in here? These look like uh, different race tracks, different rules for different tracks. All right. So yeah, there's special rules for all these different tracks. Hey, the Tantrum House 500, nice. Uh, Board Game Geek 100, Autobahn, all right. Little plastic trains. Nice. All right, so there you go. All the different tracks that are there, and there's just like a cheat sheet here of icons. Uh, and I don't know what was extra, you know, in the Kickstarter edition for what's in, you know, say the retail edition, but this is from the Kickstarter. So, all right, we've got advanced rules. So there are some cards for uh, advanced rules. There you go. And, all right, so we talked about, I think most of these are going to be, what are they called, thunder cards. Uh, you know, the cards that you have to program, thunder and hazard cards, the cards you have to program. And they are very well shrink-wrapped. That is a lot of cards. It's a healthy stack of cards. Uh, all right, so... Those are re-roll blocks. These are in player colors, it seems. <laughs> All right. I'm just flipping through some of these drafting. Just to show you some of them, I'm not going to go through all of these. Oh, rain. All right. Team blue, team orange. All right. Not entirely sure what all of those Cards are four. There's the back of some of them. Thunder qualifying. Oh, okay. And then, all right, sure. The actions for the non-player drivers have to be in there. And crew chief cards, which is something you can take with um, one of the spots on the racetrack. And then, of course, talked about stickering the cars. Yeah, well, here you go. So here's what they look like. You know, they're just... Uh, they're... Uh, I don't know what that material is. I guess it's plastic, but it feels sturdier than that. Um, you know, it could almost feel ceramic, but it's, I don't think it is. I mean, just a hard plastic, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, all of the cars are identical. Um, and that's why you need to stick around, you know, to put, at least put numbers on them. Um, you know, some people paint them and then put the stickers on. So, that's cool. I probably won't do that to mine. I'll probably just use, you know, all the different pieces of the sticker, right? To put on the hood and the, the back and the sides, you know, whatever. Uh, spoiler. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, there you go. I think that's everything that came in here, right? Yeah, there's nothing better. You know, sometimes people hide stuff in there, so I had to check. But uh, there you go. That's... Uh, Thunder Rolls from Richard Lennius. And uh, if you have any questions about it, um, post in the video comments below or uh, in the description of the video, there's a link to our Discord channel. Uh, you can go over there and you can ask us about the game as well. Uh, but until next time, thanks for watching.